Coming from Donkers where the sun is out, you must be laughing. How can the cricket be rained off? But it was delayed, and I think for Canterbury this afternoon it'll probably stay cloudy, though likely dry. In fact, the rain that gave such a miserable morning to the southern half of Britain has well fragmented now, but there's still a noticeable arc from North Wales through East Anglia and out of Belgium, where I think the next spurt will come from this afternoon. With the rain has been some strong winds. Now, they're not as strong now, and they are further north on the rain band, so, for example, for Wales, but particularly the Pennines this afternoon, you will notice the gustiness. That wind is dying down on the south coast now, as the rain has died out. The rain itself will be very light and patchy, as I said, it's glorious to the north, and Scotland's having a lovely summer's day. There might be some sunshine breaking through from, say, Dorset eastward this afternoon. Certainly the Channel Isles are doing well at the moment. And we may just see a shower bill, but I think they're likely to stay on the French side of the Channel, maybe just crossing into the evening. Now, potentially it's quite warm. Certainly we'll see 20s in France, but 18's just about possible in Sussex if the sun breaks through. Otherwise, the rain band is dull and quite cool but it's already 17 in the Lake District and 17 in much of Western Scotland. The East Coast isn't as good, of course, as an onshore breeze, but it is at least still sunny. The reason for all this is a very slow revolving low, which contains some pretty warm air with its attendant rain and showers, of course, but it's coming north, it's coming our way. So we could see some fairly high temperatures in the next day or two, times up here. By Friday they'll have gone, they may return at the weekend, but that's far less certain. But the potential is there at least for tomorrow. It gives us actually quite a mild night. I won't say particularly muggy, but mild and humid at 11 degrees. Now, the cold night in Scotland, of course, and there could be a touch of frost in the Highlands, as there was last night. And you might just see lightning out of the window in England, though I think it's unlikely. Be a grey start to the day, though. Once the greyness has gone, showers will start running up through the western side of the country. The rain might just touch the western isles as well. Otherwise, a warm day.